Okay, in this video I want to demonstrate um, some of the features of the multi-user support that's been added in XOS Forensics, particularly since version uh, 17.5. Um, when you create a new case, um, I'm using version 17.8 by the way, um, but this is more or less the same from version 17.5 onwards, but I'll point out some of the differences. Um, and there's a particularly important gotcha with this version 17.5. Um, when you create a new case, you've got all the options as usual. One of the buttons there that you can see is this one, and you'll notice how the uh, user um, name of the particular user is, is can be pulled in. Um, now, by default, that's usually ticked. I just unticked it earlier. Um, distinguish between different users, and what that means is that when other users open the same case, uh, they will be added as a specific user of that case and their bookmarks and searches and things like that and their comments can be attributed to them as individual users rather than all merged into the same stuff together. Um, uh, <coughs> now, it, uh, what Xpose will do by default at the bottom there, it says my initials, um, it will usually take the first uh, three or four characters, I think, of the username. If you take that out altogether, it will put the full name in, um, which I think is preferable. Um, but other than that, the defaults are usually um, uh, pretty good. Um, I tend to prefer to have the adopt already viewed status for all of the users because at the end of the day, if it's viewed, it's viewed. If it's not, it's not. Um, and so it's often useful to know whether the, a file has been viewed or not um, by you or anybody else that's involved in the particular case. Um, uh, but there might be some instances where it is important that the two are kept different, uh, kept separate. So if we click OK to that and just click OK, we can quickly add a, an image. Oops. And one of the things I want to show but in particular is the use of a search. So I'll uh, just click the traditional simultaneous search button and ensured down here that uh, the standard search is up, logical is chosen rather than the index search and I just want to search for the word hello across this image which is only a small one so it will do fairly quickly and as you can see down the bottom left area is the results of my hello search and there are all the hits. Now what's important to note is uh, for starters, this count changes depending on how you've got your uh, uh, selection set in the left. So uh, it's just showing the hits from the root now because I've just left clicked on the partition. If we recursively explore, it will change to show the hits of all the files for all the um, file objects from that partition downwards. Um, but if I now open this case as another user, which I can't easily do as part of the video, um, those hits on the bottom left won't be listed to me with multi-user support enabled and that tick box ticked. Um, with this up here set, um, they will be kept separate. So if I've got a user account on here called Other and I log in as Other, when I open this case, I will not see the hits down the bottom left there for Hello. And that caused some of a bit of confusion for myself and uh, a few other people when we first started using 17.5 uh, because we was wondering where our search hits had gone that we'd ran when the case was opened by somebody else. Um, but to resolve it, all you have to do is open the case as your other user, go to the right click the case and go to properties and in here there's a big button that says import search hits of another user. When you click that it will list the users down there that you want to import. It might be one, it might be multiple people. Um, regardless, once you double click it, it will import those search hits and then you'll have them all listed in the same way as what you can see there. Um, now with version 17.5, and this is the uh, the, the gotcha, um, I think it is by design. Me and Stefan had an email discussion about it, but um, I didn't especially understand the nuts and bolts of it. But to cut a long story short, um, if user 1 does a search for hello and then user 2 logs in, opens the case and imports the search hits of user 1, he will, um, uh, that was my phone by the way, um, he will get those search hits imported 
um, as you would expect. Um, but if user two then does another search for another word, um, say Peter Pan, and then user one opens the case again and imports user two search hits, the first search term that he ran will be doubled up as in the results will be doubled up. So if it said 100 hits the first time, it will then say 200 hits the second time. But they're basically the same hits duplicated. That's uh, why uh, we suggested it to Stefan that there should be the option to differentiate between whether you want that behavior or not. Um, and that's why that tick box is now available to distinguish between different users. If that isn't ticked, then the search hits will be listed regardless of, of who opens the case. So you might have five users working a case separately, but the, um, you'll always be able to see all the search hits of that particular person. Um, you'll notice it's greyed out. The reason it's greyed out is because you have to set these options when you create the case. So if I create a new case and go on here, I can now choose whether I want to enable that or not. So if I untick it and create a new case, Add an image, do a search, that result down the bottom left of hello 182, that will be available to all users who open the case without having to manually import. Um, so it's a, it's a really good feature, it's great for uh, multiple user interaction with the case, uh, you know, for attributing comments to a particular user and things like that. Um, but you need to be aware, um, you know, I, I can write a comment here and it's attributed to me uh, in my username. So um, it is a great feature to have, but uh, you need to decide at the start of the creation of your case whether you want it or not. Um, and there may be some instances where you might not necessarily want it.